Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial, maybe not too quick, on how to solve this guy right here, Radical Equations Part 2. So let's look at some notes for this. Here's the deal. So there's two things in here. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, you square both sides. And then you solve using uh, A, B, C with your calculator. And you get 8 equals X and 8 equals 2 down here at the bottom. But then you have to check your answers. Because we're squaring things at the top, we could create a situation that's invalid because of negative numbers. Because when negative numbers get squared, they're always positive. But then when we put them back in the equation to see if it works, sometimes they don't. And we can see right here on this equation that we're going to do that one of the answers doesn't work. All right, so let's get to it. And we have this guy over here, which is uh, our problem is 25 subtract 3x equals x minus 7. All right, so how are we going to do this? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is square both sides. So step one is square both sides. All right, so I'm just going to put brackets around this whole thing and square it, and brackets around here and square it. Well, this one's pretty easy. It just removes the radical. So that's going to be 25 minus 3x. That was simple enough. These are actually pretty easy to do too. I'm going to show you a technique for doing them. Uh, so what this is going to be x squared as this term. The middle term is going to be negative 7 and negative 7. So negative 7 twice. And the last term is going to be negative 7 squared. All right, so that's going to give us an x squared, a minus 14x, and a plus 49. So this is from our squaring binomials. All right, so step one is done. We squared that. All right, step two, uh, we're going to see right here that this is a quadratic equation. All right, so we're going to need to solve for zero. solve for zero. And to solve for zero, I'm going to have to subtract 25 and add 3x. That will give me a zero on this side. And over here, I'm going to add 3x and subtract 25. All right, and that's going to give me my x squared minus 11x plus 24. All right. I can put that into my handy calculator for step three, which is solve for x, negative 11, and positive 24. All right, and I already put that in over here, just to save a little time. So a is 11, one, b is negative 11, and c is 24. You can see right there. And that gave us an answer right here of x equals 8 and x equals 3. All right, so we've got x equals 8 and x equals 3. Now, if we go put those in as answers on our delta math, we're going to find out that one of them doesn't work. So we need to check those first. So this is our last step, which is check. So we go back to the original equation, which is 25, 3x, equals x minus 7, and we have to substitute for both of these. We have to substitute for x equals 8, and we have to substitute for x equals 3. All right, so let's substitute for x equals 8. So we get 25 minus 3, and we're going to substitute the 8 in here. All right, so times 8. All right equals, and we're going to put our 8 in here. Notice I always use parentheses just so I don't make mistakes. All right, 
So uh, this is going to be 25 minus 24, which is going to be the square root of 1 equals 1. And we know that's true. So because square root of 1 is 1, and that, okay, so that check, check mark, check mark 8 is okay. All right, I'm going to put this check mark over here for 8 is okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with 3. All right, so you get 25 minus 3 times 3 equals... Three minus seven. Well, I can see we're going to have a problem here, and the reason is that when we take twenty three times three is nine, so twenty five minus nine. This is the square root of sixteen, and over here we're going to have three minus four. That's going to give us a negative seven. Well, there aren't any negative square roots unless they're imaginary numbers. So we're never going to get a negative answer from this side because our square root can't be negative and be a rational number. All right, and so what, but what we're going to get is 4, and we know that 4 does not equal negative 4. All right, so this answer does not work. All right, so... So back up here, our answer 8 is works, but our answer 3 does not work. So we come back over here and we say we only have one answer, and that answer is 8. And we submit 8, and we get a check mark. Good luck with those.